never losing no. But I'm broke, but now I'm living at it. They just count my zeros with some decimals. And I wish you would try to test me, yo. You should listen to the lesson, no. Masterminds out of Mexico. I invested, though, when I let it grow. Regiments, I got a pocket full. Rich the income and your tax is low. Spend it right and then invest some more. And if you don't believe me, it's my doctor, though. What you mean? You mean Aqua G? Yeah. Planting seeds for these money trees. Who got my money, please? Everywhere you want to be like me, so. MasterCard, American Express. I bought the bank and I bought the chance. I buy apartments, I send checks. Yo, Hey guys, <clears throat> whoa, what's up? Welcome. Wait, they see the face, they see what I do next. When I walk through the door, I'm talking cash flow. And if you know, like I know, you're getting cash flow. When I walk through the door, I'm talking cash flow. And if you know, like I know, I hope you guys are enjoying this spring weather. Yeah, and only then do I buy something stupid. How stupid can you go? You can go as stupid as your cash flow. You know what heals all ills, deals. Look who went from meals to bills. It's eat what you kill when you're in the field. In the pipeline overflowing, I don't drip, I spill. We don't seek balance, nah, we want extraordinary. If you really knew my dreams, there'd be more than scary. We got more to spare, ain't no shortage, baby. Winning by the chopper and another for my lady. Talking about the bird in the strap, say the word and she handle that. Fully loaded, put it at the target, and you know we let it off every man. Got money, who got my back? You can never get it if you never ask. Let me know how your day has been going in the chat. <laughs> and if you can hear me. Jerry. And I'm going to let you share. <clears throat> if you guys want to turn on your cameras so I can see your beautiful faces, that would be awesome. I think I stopped the. Uh... Let me stop this so no more music is playing. <clears throat> we don't hear all right guys music. huh we don't hear any music okay good yeah i stopped it <clears throat> hey everyone <clears throat> i can't speak very good today jerry and i has had like some type of a cold or cough i don't know what it is <clears throat> but we're gonna do our best and try to get through the zoom call so welcome everybody to the wednesday night multifamily. Freedom Chasers Financing Zoo. My name is Shelly Miles. I am a commercial mortgage broker and the co-founder of our brokerage company called Adventure Commercial Capital, together with Mr. Jerry Miles over there, Wave, who you guys will meet in just a moment. <clears throat> what our company does is connect real estate investors like yourself to other lenders, sorry, to lenders, not other lenders, to lenders, um, <clears throat> With that being said, I'm going to hand this over to Jerry, but before I do that, um, let me know by putting in the chat if this is your first Zoom call with us or with the Multifamily Freedom Chasers, put a one in the chat. Um, we would like to welcome you and hope we can add some value to you in your real estate journey. <clears throat> Jerry, you want to go ahead and take over? <clears throat> I will. Um, I'm Jerry uh, Miles, for anybody that doesn't know me. Um, I'll go over our uh, today's agenda here right quick and tell you what to expect. Um, <clears throat> we'll first talk about the community, uh, the Freedom Chasers community. Uh, we'll do introductions, and I'm going to try to do these really quick, like less than five minutes for this, and then we'll get into the current debt market. And I believe Trevor Walker is stopping by, one of the uh, 
founders of the Freedom Chasers is going to be dropping by here at about 15 after or so. They're going to talk to us about something that Freedom Chasers have going on, and then we'll get into the main topic if he is done in time. So, um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, so that's the agenda, community ecosystem introductions, current debt market, and then the main topic is alternative financing solutions for commercial real estate. And at the end, we'll do a, a question and answer time. So the ecosystem, um, these three guys right here are the founders of the Freedom Chasers, um, Trevor, Victor, and uh, Marcel. <clears throat> and um, Trevor is the one who is actively doing Zoom still. He uh, does a call every other Monday, alternating with BB and Ify on asset management. Uh, Trevor's call, uh, we call the activation call, and he'll have a celebrity guest on to talk about their journey in real estate. Um, BB and Ify are, are killing it, have bought a couple deals here just recently. Um, and they're talking about asset management and um, you know building teams and things like that. Alternating Wednesdays, you have us, and then you have deal sourcing with Ed and Kevin, who are commercial uh, real estate brokers. So most of us that are doing these Zooms are full-time real estate investors, or we work in real estate. So, um, and these these Zooms are free, and uh, you know there's a lot of good information on these. <clears throat> If you haven't plugged in to the Freedom Chasers community, um, these are all the different places you can find us. YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, and um, Instagram. <clears throat> uh, who are the Miles? Uh, that's me and my beautiful wife there, Shelly, and then two of our boys, JJ and Jordan. We are the founders of Adventure Commercial Capital uh, we lend on commercial real estate nationwide and uh, even some overseas. we got a deal we're working right now in Mexico. So uh, <clears throat> so we can do some over over, uh, over the border stuff. But um, we, we started our lending company about four years ago. We've been real estate investors for about 10 years. Uh, saw a real need for somebody to come and, you know, serve the real estate community. Uh, with integrity and, and honesty, and uh, we were struggling finding um, lending brokers that would treat us fairly and that that we uh, felt like had our best interests, you know. And so we uh, decided to uh, <clears throat> start this business, and so we connect real estate investors with money. So <clears throat> I want to give two people about a minute. 30 seconds to a minute each to tell us who you are. If you want to introduce yourself, I will tell you that there's people that have done business together on these, that have met each other on these calls. Um, whether you're a contractor or just whatever you do, i let people know it, um, you know, tell them where you're buying, what kind of real estate you own or what, what you're looking for. Yeah, go ahead and raise go. your digital. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so my name is John, John Miguna. And uh, I'm actually from Toronto, Toronto, Canada, and uh, I'm in the same kind of business. So a little bit of capital advisory um, and uh, sales consulting. So I work with uh, two mortgage companies, actually. Uh, one of them I do wholesaling for a MIC, so Mortgage Investment Corporation, um, essentially uh, advising um, basic, basically sales consulting on uh, fixed income investments for private mortgages that are very short uh, term. So not a lot of undulations in the market. And then of course a fixed return that's never been missed uh, with monthly liquidity. And then capital advisory, I work with another brokerage where I refer business to them. Um, I'm working on a few big deals right now, development deals. So that those should close over the next year or so. Um, so yeah, that's me. Very nice. Cool, good to meet you, John. Good to have you, John. You. <clears throat> Thank you. And I see all the new people on here, Christina, John, Sonia, uh, Vincent. Glad to have you guys. Um, if you guys haven't joined the Multifamily Freedom Chasers Facebook group yet, it's a great community. 
community. It has over 1,900 members. I just dropped the link in the chat. <clears throat> you can grab that and join our Facebook group and connect with each other. Um, we have room for one more if you want to introduce yourself like John did. <clears throat> Come so on, JJ, guys, our son, JJ, our son, usually introduces himself to get the ball rolling because there's a lot of a lot of people that don't want to come out and tell us about themselves. But he is uh, he's been sick as well, so um, he's just been laying around all day. Uh, so Daniel, go ahead, bud. I see you there. Hey, how are you? Yeah, my name is uh, Daniel Montgomery. I actually uh, specialize in acquisitions, so I kind of run my business. I like a smaller version of a certification company um, where, you know, I kind of, you know, find apartment complex or smaller apartments for, you know, groups uh, that might be interested. Uh, so, and from January until like March, uh, I was working with one of my business partners to actually close a deal with uh, back in 2021. He provided me like, 430 leads or 430 units in total to try to sell. Uh, it was kind of rough just because what I'm lacking is connections. You know, I know how to find deals, but lacking connections. Um, I currently have like one apartment complex uh, under contract right now um, that, you know, hopefully I, I have faith this on close by May. Um, working on a student housing, like walking distance, like, like 0 0.7 miles away from University of South Carolina. Um, this is a student housing. It's called uh, University Hill. Um, and I'm just the acquisitions guy that knows how to find deals. Um, if it's mainly, you know, multi-families, commercial, uh, properties are zoned, commercial, um, even, so, even single family. I don't really give too much effort to single family as much anymore, especially not in Georgia, because Georgia is kind of a competitive market when it comes to single family homes. So I just kind of, Focus on different markets, different states in the southeast, the multi-families and commercial. But yeah, I'm I'm a guy to you know provide those creative multi-family needs, which is kind of hard to find student housing that's like you know yeah. like walking distance away from the university. So I would love to connect with people. I'm just liking connections. I know how to find stuff. I know how to talk to people. I know how to negotiate and analyze. I just like the connections. Yeah. Do you um? Do you have an email list that you send all the, the deals out to people on? Uh, yeah, I can send my email to the chat right now. Okay, yeah, <laughs> send your email through there. And then when my email comes up on here on the screen later, uh, make sure to put me on your email list as well so I can see the deals as they come through. Okay, yes, sir. Yeah. I'll do it right now. Thanks, Damien. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, guys, Uh, cool. this Zoom call is for connecting too. So put your... Put your stuff in the chat and connect with each other. Yeah, for sure. So we'll get into the current debt market update. Um, you know, where are the current rates? Uh, you know, the, the federal funds rate, you know, still the highest it's been in 22 years. Um, the 10-year treasury, five-year treasury is what determines a lot of the rates we pay on long-term debt. Um, and those have both been going up this week. Uh, the last call we were at, 4.2, 4.25, that, that range. And, you know, we're at that 4.6 range now. So we're 20, 30 basis points higher than uh, than we were last, you know, two weeks ago when we, uh, when we looked at this. So what I tell people, you know, if you're looking for Fannie and Freddie debt, you know, and you're looking at, you know, getting five-year, five-year debt, you need to look at a five-year treasury. And if you are, um, you know, looking to do, you know, a loan of, you know, bigger than 7 million, you know, you're going to be, uh, you know, adding probably two points to that five-year treasury rate, you know, point and a half to two points, um, you know, to get your final rate, you know, when you're looking at Freddie and Fannie debt, you know, add two and a half or so to it when you're looking at, you know, something below 7 million in, in loan amount. That's just kind of a roundabout way. You can always find the treasury numbers, the current treasury numbers by, you know, going to cnbc.com or one of those, um, you know. And when you when you uh, sign, you know, an LOI with a lender, 
they're they're not going to lock in a rate for you. They're going to tell you you're going to be um, you know this this spread. This is your spread, and we're going to look at the treasury. You know, and, and that's that's going to determine your rate at closing. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind as you're going. These are some current you know small balance rates. Freddie Mac small balance is you know two to seven and a half million. These are the rates. If you get up over that seven and a half million, you can figure the rate to be anywhere from a quarter, sometimes a whole point less, depending on the asset. Um, <clears throat> Fannie Mae small balance is up to six million. And we can go below two million. It just gets a little tighter and uh, underwriting gets a little a little stricter when you get under that two million mark. So here's Fannie Mae. If you'd have been on here two weeks ago, I don't know that there was many, there was any sevens on here at all. And now you know there, there's quite a few sevens on the uh, on the chart. So, um, you know, <clears throat> as the news gets bad, the news cycle gets bad. You know, the 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 treasuries tend to move a little bit, and uh, you know. Everything moves with the news cycles, the stock market, the interest rates, everything. So, just so you know, Trevor entered the room. Yeah, I let him in. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. And so, you know, over the last, well, year and a half, two years now, uh, you know, we've been in a real stagnant market when it comes to commercial real estate and even residential real estate, too, in a lot of, a lot of ways, because there's just not a lot buying and selling going on um you know if you've got a three or four year or three or four um uh, you know interest rate you know why why are you going to sell <clears throat> sell your house at a seven percent interest rate not get as much and then you're going to have to replace that mortgage uh you know makes it makes it rough on a lot of people with houses to to be able to move up you know um <clears throat> well we're looking at um you know commercial you know, it's, it's killed valuations, you know, a lot of apartments, you know, have dropped 25, 35, uh, even more, you know, as far as the valuation, because of the interest rates, inflation's kicked up to where insurance has followed the inflation rate, you know, so where uh, I know of one guy in particular that, that has, you know, over 10,000 units in Florida and he was at, you know, 700 hours a door in insurance you know, back in the beginning of 22 and uh, his new, new insurance rates now are over 2000 a door. So, you know, it's not just, not just interest rates that are, that are hurting the market. <clears throat> so there is going to be a lot more opportunity coming to the market. Um, you know, major correction is underway. I mean, we're at the beginning stages of it, I believe, you know, um, these, these, uh, all these figures of the debt maturing, you know, 2027, 2.7 trillion, you know, in 2024, they're saying, uh, you know, 540 billion is maturing. I believe these numbers are actually going to be higher, uh, not because there's more debt maturing than what they're saying, but because a lot of the debt that's matured over the last year to two years, um, these people are hoping uh, for rates to come back down to save them and uh, <clears throat> rates haven't come back down. And so they've gone on extensions with these banks and the lenders. And so there's a lot of people just trying to hold on right now and the rates just ain't coming down. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, I, I talk to people every day that, that are in a bridge loan, they've extended a year, they're getting ready to have to extend it another year. And they're hoping and praying that this lender is going to be good to them to, to extend it another year. Or, and not force a sale. So there's there's a lot of those situations. Every day I'm seeing them. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, people can only hold on so long. And, and, you know, what I'm talking about, just to explain it a little deeper, uh, you know, a guy that bought a, bought a property for, let's say, $18 million, he put a bridge loan on it, did a bunch of rehab, planning on refinancing for maybe $20 million, you know, in two years' time. He now owes 18 million, but because of the way the uh, interest rates have gone up, insurance has gone up, and all these things have gone up, 
you know, eyes are lower. And so he's maybe only uh, able to refi for, you know, 14 million, 13 and a half, 14 million. And we're, we're seeing these, these situations every day. So he could sell the property for what his loan amount is, 18 million possibly. But he's trying to sell for 23 or 24 million because he's got, you know, Aunt June and grandma and grandpa and everybody else that he knows have invested in this deal and they're going to lose their money if he sells at that 18 million. So going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of that kind of stuff happening here over the next couple of years, really. So Trevor, are you here? I am. Hey, right. Jerry. Hey, hey. That's a I'm good gonna... segue. Actually, that's a really yeah, good segue. I uh, am my co-host. I'm going to make you co-host. Okay, awesome. While Jerry's doing that, y'all, can we get some fires in the chat just to show our gratitude to Jerry and Shelly Miles and all that they do to, you know, for the Freedom Chasers community? <clears throat> or put some hearts in there, some tens in there, some gems in there, just to show our appreciation for the Miles. I mean, it's just, it's profound. Thank you, Paul, Lisa, Alicia. It's just profound that that we have them in the freedom chasers community they are pillars in the leadership team and just the value that they bring being commercial debt brokers and the proximity that we have to them is i mean it's it, it first of all it's imperative to have a commercial broker uh, in your back pocket commercial debt broker in your back pocket and to have jerry and shelly miles and the caliber caliber of people that they are not only from a personal perspective, but from a professional's perspective is just out of this world. So it, that's again, Jerry and Shelly, you know, I like to praise you guys so much whenever I get the opportunity to do so. I appreciate it, Trevor. And, um, you know, Trevor, I, 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 I talked about you a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as we was uh, getting started um, in the, uh, you know, when we were talking about the, um, you know, today's agenda. So, um, Trevor Walker, the founder of the Freedom Chasers. Um, take it away, man. Thank you. Thank you. One of the founders, one of the founders, there were three the other founders. guys that was, that was crucial in its development, but it, for its continuation, you guys were critical. So, uh, guys, I'm going to share with you a new Freedom Chasers resource to help you guys accelerate and take advantage of this amazing opportunity that we're on the cusp on. Some of you probably have already heard about this program. We made a little bit of a, some tweaks. So stay on till the end. I'm going to take about 10 minutes here. And, uh, but the reason I said it's a good segue from what Jerry just talked about is because of this quote here from Grant Cardone. And whether you love him or hate him, it's true what he says. The greatest well transfer of our lives is upon us because you have a unique situation in the commercial real estate market, which Jerry just showed you some stats that are pretty, you know, eye popping. And then also, you know, a large portion of wealth is going to be transferred because you have the baby boomers that are growing in age and they've accumulated quite a bit of wealth and that wealth has to transfer. So the combination of these things is creating an incredible opportunity for us in the commercial real estate space. So it's time to just do everything we can to accelerate, to be ready for that opportunity. And uh, just to let you guys know really quick here, y'all can see my screen, right? My sharing. Okay, cool. So here's, I think what's really helpful to think about the evolution of a multifamily investor's journey and to be successful, two important things need to happen. The first one is laying a solid foundation in the four primary areas of a multi real estate investor. So there are the four areas right there, deal sourcing, underwriting, capital partners or investor relations, and then asset management. So laying a solid foundation in all four of those areas and then as you continue to evolve in the space, what ends up happening typically is you end up focusing and developing a high level skill set in one or two of these areas. And then you either build your team to fill in the gaps or you join another team um, and fill in their gaps. So that's typically how it works. All right. There's the four areas. And because, you know, you know, we just want you guys to consider tonight, where are you in light of your multifamily journey and in light of the opportunity that's coming in the sense of where are you in laying this solid foundation? And if you have a solid foundation laid, okay, that's great. What about taking it to the next level and getting super dialed in into one or two of those areas that really gels with your expertise and personality type 
where you can bring a lot of value to the table and either build your own team, like I said, or join another operator team in the multifamily real estate investing space. And because of the, really, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity potentially, right, Jerry, as far as just the uniqueness of the commercial real estate opportunity, the baby boomers, their transfer of wealth, this unique opportunity, we wanted to provide something extra to the uh, to the Freedom Chasers community members so that those who decide to, you know, to really bet on themselves and say, hey, I want to accelerate my journey and be ready as best as possible for this opportunity. We wanted to introduce another resource, and that is the quarter two 2024 Fast Pass program. So with Q1 being done, now we're into Q2. You know, it's a new beginning, y'all. It's a new beginning. So whether Q1 was bad or whether it was good for you, Q2 is a new beginning, and there's no better time to hit the Fast Pass lane for the second quarter. So, so let me tell you guys exactly what the Fast Pass program is here for quarter two for the multifamily freedom chasers. It's a six week journey for clarity, confidence, and credibility as a multifamily real estate investor. The three C's that are, in a, that are critical to being successful in this space. All right, and so as we built the program, you know, we started from the ground up and we were thinking, okay, what are the primary problems that less experienced investors face in order to get traction and momentum and get their foot in the door of multifamily real estate. And we looked at the own problems, my own problems, our own problems that we encountered, as well as the many conversations that we've had with other investors. And these are, this is the start of a long list. Okay. So you guys can see it on the screen here. And the problem of where do I start? Where does really somebody start and dedicate their time and energy to get their foot in the door? Because there's actually many places to fit in in multifamily real estate. Uh, second, you know, for bullet point number two, there's too many options or, you know, let's say you're a working professional, you have a family and you're just too busy. Like, man, I'm too busy to figure this thing out or I don't want to waste time in my multifamily real estate journey. And how about this one, this mindset? This one was a challenge for me. Can I really buy multi-million dollar buildings? So these are some of the problems that we have encountered personally. We've seen other people encounter. And so we said, hey, let's build the first segment of the Fast Path program is this, streamline your start in multifamily investing. So this is to jumpstart your journey, your investing journey, even if you have a busy job and without wasting time. And here are some of the bullets that are included in that. You get a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one onboarding interview with me. You get some multifamily mindset training. You get access to the Freedom Chasers Foundations course with over 30 plus hours of content that we've curated and have organized to help build that foundation in the four areas that we previously talked about. So that's valued at 199 bucks. The second segment of the Fast Pass program is Know Your Role. So this is where we're gonna help you develop a personalized plan to obtain clarity on your best fitting role in multifamily. So this includes several different things, a customized action plan. You get into the exclusive WhatsApp group where you access the multifamily uh, community leaders. You get proximity to us and uh, an exploratory session on your skills and personality types and where that might fit in into the different multifamily role, roles that are out there. So that also is $199 of value. But Jerry, there was more problems that we we saw in ourselves and others, and this was a big one. This was a big one, and you actually run into this as a as a debt broker, not having credibility, and and say not that you had that, Jerry, but you run into people that have this problem, right? Not having credibility, or never having done a deal before, or I'm nervous to talk to brokers or or commercial lenders, or just it takes too much time to build credibility. These are some of the problems that we've seen out there with less experienced investors. And that's why we wanted to have the third segment of the Fast Pass program as the build credibility blueprint. And this is a blueprint to show you guys how to build instant credibility without ever having done a deal before. So this is where the program helps you talk to commercial brokers proficiently, talk to commercial lenders proficiently, and overcome those objections that you might encounter navigating the space helping with high-powered networking, connecting with experienced multifamily sponsor teams, 
And then access, this is a weekly fast pass group huddle that is a live Zoom for fast pass members only for Q2 with the multifamily leadership team. So I'll talk a, a more a little about that in a second here, but that's the build the credibility blueprint valued at 249 bucks. But there's more problems and this is really related to underwriting, understanding a deal, whether, hey, do I have a deal or what do I need to underwrite or underwriting takes too long and it's too hard. So that's why the fourth segment of the fast pass program is underwriting unveiled enhance your strategy so this we're going to give you training on analyzing a market and a deal you can get live deal analysis and we're going to give you some multifamily underwriting tools and resources as well so that's 249 bucks and then finally the last set of problems that we have encountered is hey, about raising capital how in the world do i raise capital or if you're like me growing up we didn't talk about finances so I'm, you know, it, you know, maybe extremely nervous talking to money, talking about money with people, or and where do I find investors? And if I do have a potential investor in front of me, what do I say to them? And that's why my fellow freedom chasers, we're going to put the fun in fundraising. That's the fifth segment of the Fast Pass program. So this is live capital raise training. Uh, you know, it's helping you maximize a capital raising mindset giving you curated capital raise action items, helping you understand different multifamily deal structures. And that is valued at 249 bucks. And I want you guys to hear from one of our previous Fast Pass members when we launched it in the new year of this year. So this is from OK. I just want to keep people anonymous just to protect their privacy. But if you really want to know who they are, please feel free to reach out. She says the fast pass has taken me through every step from mindset to finding a deal, underwriting, financing, due diligence, and closing. They made me so much more confident that I can do this. I love that. So just a quick overview. So there's five segments of the fast pass program. You add all that up, that's over $1,100 of value. But we wanted to add more bonuses on top. It was like, hey, there's more that we can give the Freedom Chasers and I'm not going to read all these. I just want to highlight some of them. So the first one, 60 must-know terms for a multifamily real estate investor. It's like learning a new, a new language to some degree. It's a simple language, but it's like learning a new language. So you get a dictionary, a broker talks cheat sheet and lender talks cheat sheet. So these are like scripts and checklist items for what you need to engage brokers and lenders to come across credible. Scrolling down here, the... Capital raise, phone and email scripts will provide to you FAQs for passive investors. And then you have lifetime access to the FastPass WhatsApp group. That's exclusive only to FastPass members. We can ask questions, engage with better with the leadership team and things like that. So that's over $1,000 of value and over $3,000 in savings. One of the things that I didn't mention is that we have a preferred partners program resources that we use where we've negotiated discounts with those partners that only fast pass members can access. So that's where the over $3,000 in savings comes in. So let's hear from JP, y'all. He says the multifamily course was exactly what I needed to jumpstart my knowledge and to help find what value I could bring to a partnership. I have been continuing to grow my knowledge and confidence, which was exactly what you guys promised. JP is a good dude. I appreciate him a lot. But we wanted to throw another bonus on top of the bonus once the six-week program is up, and that is this. It's lifetime access to the Fast Pass Zoom recordings. So there's going to be training modules that are associated with each segment of the Fast Pass. There's the, uh, and, and you guys get access to those forever. And then there's going to be recordings of the live Zoom with the leadership team Every single week, we'll upload those to the uh, to the platform. You'll have access to those. And then you'll have lifetime access to the Freedom Chasers Foundations course. So that's almost 1200 bucks in value right there. So let's hear from PE. PE is another action taker, Freedom Chaser action taker. This is what he said about his experience earlier this year. He said, I found it extremely valuable to have direct access to leadership with experience who actively do multifamily deals. All the video content and written resources were very useful and many contained knowledge gained from personal experiences that would otherwise take years to learn. So again, I wanna emphasize this, you have an opportunity to work directly with our leadership team 
in the weekly live Zoom. This is an extra Zoom on top of the other Zooms that we already have for the Freedom Chasers community. And this Zoom is to, there's some content in there, but it's mostly that you get tailor-made feedback after going through the training modules and doing the homework for the week. You come to the live Zoom, we give you some education, but then we also give you tailor-made feedback on your particular situation to help you continue moving the needle and accelerating your multifamily journey. All right, uh, so work with our leadership team. So just an overall summary of everything that's a part of the program. You have the five main segments, you have the bonuses, you add all that up, it's over $3,400 of value. But tonight it's just for $297. And because you guys are, and I talked to Jerry and Shelly about this earlier, because you guys are attending the Zoom live, taking time out of your evening away from family and other things that you could be doing, we want to give you guys this for just $249. For just $249, bucks, you get all the things that are included in the Fast Pass program. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to drop the link in the chat. I'm going to drop the link in the chat for you guys. Where if you want it. Yeah, how what's up, Jerry? People, how many people are you allowing in this time around? I know last time you only allowed 12. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna get into that. So it's a total of 15 just for this time. Yeah, just for this time, a total of 15. And I'm sure I'm not sure exactly where our number is right now, but it's it's limited seats. And there's a reason that we did that, actually. And I think I'm getting to it. Let's see here. Okay, let me talk about the guarantee, y'all. The guarantee. After six weeks, if you don't feel like you've received at least $297 of value and service, we'll just issue a 100% refund, no questions asked. All right, so you have a guarantee there. If you don't like the program, you didn't get what you needed out of it, we'll just refund your money, no problem. And right now, there's only 13 slots available. That's what it was. So... And this is important because we didn't want to just say, we didn't want to make it a free for all, right? Because a substantial component of the Zoom, and Jerry knows this, is that we got to have a small enough group where we can actually give tailor made feedback in the live Zoom for your particular situation. And because we block out one hour of time every Thursday, if we have too many people in there, we can't get to everybody and help everybody on a real tailor made basis to the level that we want to. So we have to limit the number of people in the Fast Pass program. So it starts the week of April 22nd, so next week, and it's gonna end the week of May 27th. And the first Fast Pass Huddle Zoom is on Thursday. Okay, so that's a week from tomorrow, uh, April 25th. And here's the thing is, you know, the proceeds for the Fast Pass program they're used to cover expenses for the Freedom Chasers community. So y'all, I think probably most people understand 95, 98% of what we do uh, in the Freedom Chasers program is free, but it's not free to run a community and have all the infrastructure and resources and, and things that we do. So the proceeds from the Fast Pass program go to help cover expenses. So just so you guys know full transparency, that's where the funds go for this program. So let's hear from JB. Uh, the Fast Pass program was excellent, and I learned a lot in my endeavor in becoming a multifamily investor and syndicator. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So again, y'all, there's a summary of everything that you get as far as the Fast Pass program. 249 bucks if you want to jump in and invest in yourself during this live Zoom. I'll drop the link again in the chat right here. And then Jerry, I can stick around for maybe five or so more minutes where I got to go help get dinner ready for the kids upstairs if anybody has any questions. I haven't been looking at the chat. Uh, I don't know if there's any questions in there, but yeah, I can stick around for a handful of minutes if anybody wants to. There has yeah, been any questions, uh, but we just had Lisa said she signed up. All right, great, Lisa. Yeah. Outstanding. I'll tell you all, um, I've been telling Trevor that he's not charging enough for this. Um, you know, that's, that's just, you know, when we have our, uh, leadership calls and things like that, and he talks about it, I'm like, man, you know, we, we paid 40,000 for one year of mentorship from, from, uh, from a group, you know, uh, a couple of years ago. And, and then we, you know, we paid 25,000 a year just to be in Grant Cardone's real estate club, you know, and there's no training in that. It's just, you know, it's a club, you know, that's the membership fee. So, uh, I mean, I'll, 
I, I keep telling him, hey, this is this is too cheap. <laughs> but, <clears throat> Jerry, I, and I appreciate that because you see you see the value in this, yeah. Uh, but this uh, isn't a money this isn't a money making grab, guys. It literally is to help float expenses for the year. <clears throat> um, and then you know it's it's a service to you guys for those of you that want to elevate yourself and make a decision to accelerate your your journey and invest in yourself. That's what it is. It's 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 an opportunity to just extract more value from the Freedom Chasers community. And it's like, hey, this is what we can do right now. Jerry, I don't know if we're we're going to launch another fast pass program for the year. So okay. this may be the last opportunity to do that. Yeah. It'll just we'll have to play it by ear. It definitely won't happen over the summer. The fall time is really busy and then we get to the, the holiday season. It's just like anything goes in the holiday season. So just so everybody knows, I don't know if we're going to launch another fast pass program. So we launched one at the beginning of the year uh, for New Year's was fantastic. Y'all saw the reviews there. We're launching one again here for Q2. Won't launch anything over the summer for the fast pass program. And then the fall is totally up in the air. So um, that's, that's the, from, from what I can tell, that's the forecast. That's my crystal ball, you know, maybe something in the fall, but I can't guarantee anything. Life happens, um, but we want to do our best to provide as much value to the community as we can with what we know in the short term. And this is what we can do. We can provide another fast pass program here for Q2. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to say something, Trevor. That was a great presentation. Um, Thank you. This program, the Fast Pass program, I cannot tell you how much value there is in this. This six weeks here, it will push you forward maybe five years, so you don't have to sit and learn it on your own. And it's only two hundred and forty nine dollars today. I would take advantage of that. Well, Thank and you, I'll, I'll say. You know, going out and trying to learn things on your own. Um, you know, I'm a pretty patient person, <clears throat> but uh, you know, if I have uh, you know new people that call me all the time and uh, and don't know anything about what they're looking for or anything else when they're calling me to uh, to try to get funding for an apartment building that you know they have no idea what what they need as far as credit or money or just anything you know, and I get calls from these people. And, you know, and these are the people that will call daily and it gets rough to answer the phone for these people, you know. So if these people would be in training like this and, and seeing, you know, what's the right questions to ask? What do I need to have in line to be able to buy all those types of things? Um, you know, it would it would take them a long way. So, you know, learning how to do it all on your own. You don't want to, you know, you, you don't want to upset all your brokers and all your lending brokers and everybody else that you're, that you're calling and dealing with. So they're, they'll, they will stop answering your calls eventually. So. Definitely. <clears throat> Tanya, I see here, you said you missed all the presentation. Uh, that's totally fine. I think we'll have a recording at some point, but, and I got to jump here guys, but I'm going to make myself as best I can available the next couple of days and maybe a, a little bit next week um, just to answer any follow-up questions, but it, it's really all right here. It's it's over three thousand dollars of value just for two hundred forty nine bucks. But if you if you have a simple question, just feel free to shoot me a Facebook messenger or you can email me Trevor at freedomchaserscapital.com. Happy to answer it. Um, but Jerry and Shelly, I, I appreciate you guys letting yeah. me. Can the slide be emailed to me? Um, Thanks, Trevor. Alicia, the I can. How do we want to do this here? The recording will be on in the morning. Yeah, the recording will be on, Alicia. And then also, I mean, the majority of what was in these slides is actually on the landing page that I've dropped that link in the chat. I'll drop it again as well. The presentation is a little bit more detailed, right? You know, it's you don't want to put a bunch of information on the landing page, but it's all all the critical elements are on the landing page for you. So, but if you have any additional questions, just hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or shoot me an email at Trevor at freedomchaserscapital.com. And then happy if we can work it out, if we need to have a quick conversation, um, would be glad to do that. So Jerry and Shelly, with that, I'm going to sign off. Guys, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. There's still two more days left of this week of, of freedom chasing. And I'm thankful for each and every one of y'all for tuning in tonight. And hope to see many of you guys on the activation Zoom. we got a great host coming in on Monday. Triple A, Triple A Adams. He hosts, this is a little bit of plug here. 
guys, he, he's a successful multifamily real estate investor, but he has also hosted one of the largest real estate meetups in the world, in the world. So I'm excited. He's going to be jumping in with the Freedom Chasers. But thank you guys, everyone. Happy to help in any way that I can. Jerry and Shelly, appreciate y'all. Yeah, thanks, Trevor. Thank Bye, y'all. Thank you. Bye. All right. <clears throat> well, I want to encourage everybody that, uh, you know, if you're a new person in real estate, uh, you know, sign up for that and join it. Uh, it it'll it'll be worth every dime you spend. So, um, yeah, and you'll skip ahead years. Yeah. And, you know, yep. it's quarter till right now. I think I could get through most of these slides. Yeah, I think so. And uh, we'll maybe um, What time on Monday? 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday is the Zoom call. Yep. All right. On Thursday. And what time on Thursdays for the meetings? Oh, for the fast, fast meetings. Um, On your onboarding call, you will get all those information. Yeah, this past one was like 4.30 uh, p.m. Eastern, 4.30 to 5.30. If I remember yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure what he's going to do this time around, though. Yeah. Um, yeah so you find out all of that stuff on your onboarding call. Yeah. So alternative financing solutions for commercial real estate. Um, you know, conventional ways that people buy. Um, you know, banks, Freddie and Fannie, uh, Life Company, CMBS, HUD. Uh, they'll do bridge loans. Those, those are your your basic ways of, uh, of, you know, financing commercial real estate. Um, so we're going to talk about some alternative ways. <clears throat> so you'll, you'll hear the word hard money and a lot of people that, you know, used to call themselves hard money lenders now call themselves private money lenders because hard money got, you know, kind of a bad name. Um, you know, there's no difference in what you'd call a hard money lender or a private money lender. You know, the money is usually investors that invest with this lender, you know, hoping to get a return and then he, he'll he add, you know, a basis point over, or a, a percentage point over top, maybe two, and then he'll charge some points and, <clears throat> and things like that to, uh, to lend the money. You know, some private money will actually, you know, pull from a hedge fund or you know, a family office, things like that as well. So, but generally speaking, you know, private money or hard money can take on riskier deals. You know, if there needs to be a lot of construction or renovation, uh, usually higher rates. You know, if you need to close quickly, uh, we have some that can close within a week. Uh, but I will tell you, know who you're working with. Um <clears throat> You know, I would like to say, you know, be careful of when people ask for money up front. Um, but that's that's not really the case. When we, any of the commercial loans that we do, we're usually going to get 1% up front. You know, and that's going to that's gonna cover due diligence and things like that. Um, <clears throat> but I will tell you that there are a lot of hard money lenders out there. Um you know, if you come to them with a, you know, $10, $10 million property or five or whatever it is, they're going to tell you, okay, well, um, we can, we can lend on this. We can lend on this. We love the deal. Um, just go ahead. Here's the wire instructions. Um, send me 50,000 for an appraisal. And, you know, sometimes that's legit, <clears throat> but I hear from people all the time that, have gone to somebody they don't know and and that 50,000 uh, goes there and then they have some story about oh well your appraisal didn't come in high enough we're not going to be able to lend the money you know something like that you know there's there's hard money guys out there and I think there's more now than there ever has been because of the way the market is these guys are getting hungry um, you know where they just I mean you can't prove it sometimes but uh you know they're just taking people's money you know uh so be careful <clears throat> now 
you know, there, there's ways to, to check, check that stuff. I mean, like I said, if you come to us, when we sign an LOI, you know, a letter of intent to lend, lend on your deal, or the lender is going to require some kind of a due diligence fee. And it's usually 1% of the deal. So if it's a million dollar loan, you're going to have to come up with 10,000 and the 10,000 should be marked refundable when you pay it. So, um, you know, I've seen some that are called, you know, they'll say they're not refundable because they say, oh, well, we have a lot of work to do to, to do this, but <clears throat> make sure it's refundable. Uh, we've had them before where we've had to refund them, you know, through the lender and, you know, they've had some title work and things they've done. And so the lender will say, hey, we spent X amount of dollars, but here's the rest of it back, you know, so that that's part of the deal, <clears throat> but just be careful. There's, there's a lot of shysters out there. Um, next, you know, is seller financing. Uh, we're in Grant's, Grant Cardone's Real Estate Club. And we were on our, we, we do uh, Zoom every Wednesday at noon. Um, and, uh, there's people that bring deals and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and, and present to the club. Uh, Grant's really been talking about seller financing because the debt market's so messed up. You know, <clears throat> and he was talking about it today on a call. Somebody had a deal that it was a widow selling her husband, you know, properties that her husband had managed for years. And he told the guy, hey, go talk to her about seller financing. She won't have the big tax burden, you know, to to pay. You know, you could pay it over a few years and uh, and she's not going to have that big capital gains of, you know, three million bucks or whatever that first year that, you know, when you sell. So you know, there's a lot of a lot of benefits to seller financing. Uh, a lot of times you're going to have to, you know, kind of plow through the uh, broker because the broker is always going to say no seller financing. Uh, just because uh, it makes it harder for them to, uh, uh, I guess, you know, you know, be able to get paid sometimes. But uh, <clears throat> with seller financing, you don't need to qualify. Uh, sometimes it's the only option. There's a lot of deals out there right now, especially smaller hotels and and things like that, that the only way you're going to be able to buy it is with seller financing because there's no lenders that will lend on some of these deals. Um, you know, you can negotiate your own terms, um, you know, but the biggest thing to do when you're shopping for deals, find out why the seller is selling. You know, this could be their best option, but find out why they're selling. You know, do they have debt come and due? Is it paid off and they're just tired of managing it? Or they want to jump in an RV and travel across the country and not have to worry about it? You know, what is the reason? And why Why are they selling? And then you can, you know, <clears throat> a lot of these people are going to take this three, four, 10 million, whatever it is. Some are going to put it into an annuity or something and they're going to pay a big capital gains. If they keep it in the deal and you paid on payments every month, that would take care of the same thing. And they're going to be able to get more money out of their deal. They're not going to have the tax uh, liability and all that, you know, when they sell. So it can be the best option in a lot of cases. So another way to buy is just do a capital raise. If you're bidding against five or 10 other people on a property and you have cash, uh, they're going to go with you. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now because there's so many things that can hold a deal up. <clears throat> you can close quick. You're in control. Uh, another thing that uh, Grant has talked about in our club calls is a master lease. Um, so <clears throat> you can sign and say, hey, I'll pay you X amount of dollars a month. I'll give you this much down. Sign controlling rights over the property to me, and I'll make payments. And I'll refinance it within three years or five years or whatever. And it allows time for the market to come back, allows time for you to improve the property, get NOI up, all, all these things. So, and I'm kind of going through these quick because we don't have as much time, but we'll do question and answer here in a minute. Um, <clears throat> 
Another thing people don't think about with buying property, um, you know, when, when you're looking at financing options, um, you know, SBA and USDA in some cases can fund up to 90% of a purchase. Um, you know, when you have commercial real estate with a business attached, a hotel, self-storage, these different different types of deals, uh, we can fund these with SBA or USDA sometimes. And, and those are, uh, you know, good ways to, good ways to finance uh, commercial real estate. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and open up the floor to questions, but I'm going to keep going through slides so we can get done. And if you have a, have a question, just raise your digital hand and we'll take it. Daniel, I see you. What's up, Daniel? Hey, yeah, uh, quick question. So yeah, cell phone is definitely a niche right now. I kind of realized that when I was trying to help uh yeah. uh seller with uh four apartment apartments he was trying to uh that you gave me the opportunity to sell. Uh I think I had like seven seller finance options. Uh oh, yeah seven yeah seven sell finance options for like two different like large apartments and the owner was just rejecting it left and right uh just because the loan wasn't assumable. Um but you know thankfully out of the four I have, you know, one under contract is going to close May by the grace of God. Uh, but to as well, I guess the seller was so, was so nice enough to to help out the buyer. He provided him a local bank uh, in Mississippi with that, you know, could actually uh, lend to him. But I guess the bank or the loan officer has to do some type of creative way where they pull out equity from several of his rentals. And then put it into deal. So, is there any type of like creative option? You know, I guess a loan officer or any type of other options. You know, especially for the, some of these apartment complexes are like a hundred units and above. Yeah. Like, how can you be able to, you know, I guess assist a buyer? You know that just any, any way how? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, a local bank that's local to the property, a smaller bank. You know, some of them guys can get real creative, you know, more so than like, you know, we'll lend on those with CMBS or Freddie and Fannie money. We don't have a lot of leeway, um, you know, it's just, hey, you raise the money. You know, if this, if you need to raise 25% uh, or 35%, you know, the seller can, you know, can hold a second sometimes, you know, for 15, 10%, something like that, but. Generally speaking, those local banks like that can, can get creative if you find the right one. I mean, you, you might go through a thousand banks before you find one that's going to get creative, especially in today's market. The, you know, the banks, you know, a lot of a lot of banks are hurt and, uh, you know, have just stopped lending on real estate. Um, <clears throat> you know, when we're talking about people that are lending actively on real estate, Freddie and Fannie are still behind on their numbers for what they're supposed to lend for the year. And, and they're probably not going to hit them this year just because there's not enough, you know, flow going, not enough buying and selling happening. They didn't hit their numbers last year. Um, a lot of our private lenders, uh, you know, I'll tell you guys, out of probably 30 different relationships we have with uh, private lenders, uh, I would say half of them right now, well, more than half have cut back on what they're lending on, have really cut their – Cut cut back on their, uh, you know, activity. Half of them have just totally closed their doors and stopped lending altogether. And I had one telling me the other day, he manages a hedge fund that he lends on real estate on with. Um, <clears throat> half a billion half a billion dollars that he he uses of this money to lend on you know the debt on real estate you know short term debt, and. He's totally shut down uh, the real estate portion of the fund and said he's not planning to open up until 2026. Just because they don't know what the market's going to do. They're worried. You know, people are scared. Um, so, but yeah, if you can find the right relationship with the right bank, you know, sometimes that's that's a really good option and they're going to be able to get creative. You know, these look like if you're in Mississippi in a more rural area or something like that where you know, uh, they want to keep that debt. They don't want it to go to Freddie or Fannie or something like that. 
you know, they, they want to keep it in house because it's local to them. They want to be able to tell, you know, their shareholders or whoever, Hey, we're, we're lending in our local market, you know, and, and we're putting money back into the local area. You know, those, those types of things are important to them. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> so what you need for a quote, if you're calling us for a quote on multifamily, uh, T12, rent roll, an OM, if you have it, a summary of what you plan to do with the property, what you plan to offer, you know, if you have a pro forma, you know, you want to hold five years, 10 years, what, what what's your business plan on it? Um, <clears throat> as you go down the road, we're getting ready to sign, you know, agreements with the lender, those types of things. We'll need an SREO and a PFS, schedule of real estate owned and personal financial statement. I'll say this for the new people. If you're buying commercial real estate um, and you're planning to sign on the debt, you need to have a net worth equal to or greater than a loan amount to be able to sign on the debt. Um, <clears throat> if you don't have that, then you're going to have to have a partner that does or you and several other people can combine your net worths together. Uh, but they're also going to want to see some experience in whatever the deal is. So, in this market, if you've been doing multifamily and you're trying to buy a hotel, good luck. You know, they're, they're not, you know, the market's getting tighter. So they're thinking, uh, we don't want to give somebody a chance of running a hotel on the ground and, and, and uh, you know, making us an owner of a hotel is what the lenders are thinking. Or, you know, if you're trying to buy a property that needs a lot of rehab and you've never done a lot of rehab, you know, those, those are going to be tough deals to do right now. Uh, what can you do today if you're if you're wanting to eventually be that person that's able to sign on the debt, <clears throat> KP or GP deals? First thing, you know, a lot of people, you know, you hear the gurus on YouTube and uh, social media saying, hey, buy this property with no credit, all these things. Well, somebody's got to have credit. There's got to be somebody on every deal that signs for the deal that's got to have credit. So make sure that your personal credit's in order. Work on work on getting that better and improving it. Uh, work on your own personal financial statement, SREO. Get your bio together. You know, you're on this call tonight. If you've wholesaled, if you, you know, whatever it is you've done, you know, um, you know, work on getting that together. You can work on raising capital or just making more money. Uh, one way to make more money is through our referral program. If you refer business to us, uh, we will pay you for it. Uh, we, we have a uh, have a deal that we're hoping to close real soon. That the the guy that referred us to business is going to get a six figure check uh, for referring refer business to us. So <clears throat> we're hoping to close that at the end of next week, and uh, we'll tell everybody about it. Say hey, come join our referral program. So uh, I just. I just want to say something for those of you who um, are planning on signing up for the fast pass program. I'll put the link again here in the chat. Um, that's for the discount of the 249 deal. Um, you will get, and if you're on the fence, you will get a PFS and an SREO template so you can fill out and have as your own. So if that's a deal breaker, there you go. So, Go ahead. This week's verse, uh, I know a lot of people are anxious, you know, with the, the economy, you know, kind of going back and forth and you've got elections coming up. So no matter whatever side you're, you're, you're rooting for to win or whatever, you know, you're going to be anxious about the other one maybe winning. But, uh, you know, we do a weekly verse. I thought this would be a good one. Do not be anxious about anything. But in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So turn all your worries and all your cares. Our next Zoom is going to be May 1st. And we'll be talking about understanding DSCR loans. So we, we do write the loans on single family rentals and fourplexes and all that as well. So right here, this is a 
um, you know, you scan that Q there and it'll take you to the WhatsApp chat for the Freedom Chasers group. And I also put the link to the Facebook page. I just put it up there on the chat. Go ahead and connect there as well. And then I'm going to put Trevor's email address here again for those of you who have questions for him about the Fast Pass program. Um, again, you guys, that program is a great program. That price is amazing. I mean, it'll help you a lot. Again, he's not doing it for the money. He's doing it to help us with our um our community here. See our find panels, his email. Uh, you know the all the different things we need to put out, put out the emails and to keep everything organized through this. So. Emails, Zoom links, everything. It helps. Here is his email address if you guys want to email him with any questions and save that link. Grab that link I just put up there for the 249 because after this call is over, you won't be able to see it again because when we put out the replay, you're not going to get that link. It's not coming on. You won't see the chat. You won't see the link and it's going to go up to the 297. So, so this is our contact info. My cell phone number, our emails, and then the QR code there is for my uh, Hi Hello card. <clears throat> if you guys find value in these Zoom in these Zoom calls, let us know. Put a one in the chat or a ten x. Put a ten x in the chat. Let's see. Oh, here is from Catherine. I did the program, the Fast Pass program, and it was fantastic. The 249 doesn't compare to the knowledge you gain. Trevor is fantastic. Highly recommended. Thank you for that, Catherine. Yes, I remember you. Um, that's awesome. So that's from somebody who went through the program already, guys. There you have it. Yay, I'm glad we can provide value to you guys. I hope you guys keep continue to jump on these calls. And I hope we keep adding value to you for your for your real estate journey. And Monday night is going to be a great call with Trevor yep. and his special guest. Yeah, jump on all these that you can, guys and girls. So the alternating Monday is with BB and Iffy, and then it's us, and then we have Ed, Eddie, Edward, sorry, Edward and Kevin on. So we're this Wednesday. Edward and Kevin is next Wednesday. All these Zoom calls at eight are at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, let me put the link one more time in the chat. All right, thank you. Thank you. And Shelly's going to leave us with some music after that. Yeah, I'm going to put this link so you can grab it because we don't want you to regret it. And you've heard from a lot of uh, people that's taken it, and this was only 12 people. So there you go. And thank you guys. Have a great uh, rest of the week. And we will see you back. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. I don't know where my, okay. And we'll see you guys in two weeks talking about DSCR. Awesome. Bye. I'll leave you with some music. <laughs>
something stupid. How stupid can you go? You can go as stupid as your cash flow. You know what heals all ills? Deals. Look who went from meals to bills. It's eat what you kill when you're in the field. In the pipeline overflowing, I don't drip, I spill. We don't seek talents, nah, we want extraordinary. If you really knew my dreams, there'd be more than scary. We got more to spare, ain't no shortage, baby. Winning by the chopper and another former lady. Talking about the bird in the strap, say the word and she handle that. Fully loaded, put it at the target, and you know we let it off every man. Who got money, who got my back? You can never get it if you never ask. Big bags, legendary swag. Only one thing better than cash.